Alright, so in this problem we want to simplify the expression, and in order to do so we are going to start by distributing this 3 into all of the terms in our parentheses. Alright, so if we do so, we get 3 times 2x to the 3rd, we get 6x to the 3rd, minus 3 times 4x to the x squared, we get minus 12x squared, 3 times 5 gives us 15, 3 times negative 1x gives us negative 3x, and 3 times 3x squared gives us a positive 9x squared, 3 times negative 5x to the x cubed gives us a negative 15x cubed plus 3x cubed. We're running out of space here, we're going to start writing over here, x squared plus 3x plus 3. Okay, so now we are going to add like terms together in order to further simplify. Let's start out with our highest exponent, which is x to the power of 3, or x cubed. So now let's underline each one. We have here an x cubed, we have here an x cubed, we have here an x cubed, and that seems to be it. So now let's group the like terms together. We have 6 minus 15 plus 3. So that gives us, all in all, a negative 6x cubed. And now let's, uh, let's um, underline all of the x squareds. So we have negative 12x squared, we have a positive 9x squared, and we have a 3x squared. And these actually all cancel out, and we are left with 0x squared. So we don't have to write that one. Now let's move on to our x's. We have negative 3x and we have a positive 3x. So these two are also going to be canceling out. And now we are left with only our numbers. So here we have 15 and 3. So we are going to be adding those together and we get a positive 18. And now if we look at our answers, b matches this answer perfectly and is also the correct answer. So this will be the most simplified version of the following expression.